In this question, we're given four possible functions and asked to determine if each is increasing, decreasing, constant, or not a function. So for a quick review, remember a function has exactly one output or y value for each input or x value. Graphically, we can determine if we have a function using the vertical line test. And then for the function behavior, a function is increasing if as the inputs or x values increase, the function values or y values also increase. Graphically, this means a function would go up from left to right if it's increasing. A function is decreasing if as the inputs or x values increase, the function values or y values decrease. Graphically, the function would go downhill from left to right if the function is decreasing. And then finally, a function is constant if as the inputs or x values increase, the function values or y values remain the same, which means graphically, we'd have a horizontal line. Now let's take a look at our examples. First, notice how f of x is a function. It passes the vertical line test, meaning no vertical line would ever intersect this graph in more than one point, verifying every input or every x value has only one output or one y value. Now notice from left to right, the graph goes downhill, meaning as the inputs increase, the outputs decrease, or as x increases, y decreases, and therefore f of x is decreasing. Now let's look at g of x. Notice how we have a set of ordered pairs. Looking at the inputs or x values, notice how they're all unique, and therefore every input or x value can only have one output or one y value, so we do have a function. Now notice as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or y values remain constant or remain the same, which means g of x is a constant function. We have two more on the next slide. Notice p of t is given in table format. We'll begin by analyzing the inputs or t values. Notice how all the t values, again, are unique or not repeated and therefore every t value or every input has only one output or one function value and therefore we do have a function. And now notice as the inputs or t values increase, the function values or outputs also increase, which means p of t is an increasing function. Looking at the last graph, notice how this would not be a function because it would fail the vertical line test. A vertical line that coincides with this vertical line would have an infinite number of points of intersection, which means it fails the vertical line test. It's also not true that every input has exactly one output. The input here along the horizontal axis has an infinite number of outputs along this vertical line. So this really should not even be labeled h of x because this is function notation. This is not a function. I hope you found this helpful.